Hello so guys, today I'm going to show you how you can access Troubleshoot on your Xbox One. Also, if you need more help, you can go ahead and join the Aerofix community like you see on here. So, let's go to our Xbox One. And what we want to do, guys, is we want to keep holding on the power button right here till we see no more lights coming out. So, let's do that. Also, guys, if you please can like and subscribe, thank you so much. And now, once you did that, let's go to the next step. So, for the people that only have like, um, like the Xbox itself without a disk drive, what they want to do is they want to keep pressing on this, and then they want to once press on the power button, just once, and keep holding on the black button right now. And once you hear like two sounds coming out of the Xbox, you are on troubleshoot. So let me show you guys. But what about the people that have a disk drive? What they need to do, I'm also gonna show you a fix for that. So let's go back. Now for the people that have a, um, like a disk drive or a blu-ray drive what they need to do is they want to keep pressing on the blu-ray eject button just keep pressing on the eject button and then you want to keep pressing on like keep holding the black button just hold them two and then what you want to do is once you're holding them two buttons you want to press once on the power button and keep holding on the eject button and the black button so that's how easy you do it. By the way, guys, I'm going to explain what all of these do. So continue means that you uh, go ahead and like go to your Xbox One home screen again and access your Xbox One again. And to reset this Xbox, what does this do? Let me show you guys. Okay, um, let's press on it. Come on. And like you see on here, you can set up like keep games and apps or remove everything. So once you do keep games and apps, everything on your Xbox One will be deleted, but not your games and apps, but your save data, your game settings and things like that will all be deleted. And to remove everything is like a brand new console. It removes everything on your console. It's like a new console that you just bought. And now let's go back. So what is this one? Offline system update like you see on here. So what is this? You stick in like a USB stick, like USB flash drive, and you update it on your Xbox One without using internet. So you go ahead and log in on the uh, PC. You download a file with your USB flash drive. You drag that file into your USB flash drive. You stick it in your Xbox One. And then once you do that, it will just start up a update. And this is more for the people that can't access their internet connection or don't have internet or have like error codes and things like that. And turn off this Xbox is easy. It's just turning off your Xbox One. And these are all the settings, guys. And like I said, please like, subscribe and comment down below. Also, join the Fix community if you need more help. And take care of yourself, guys. Goodbye.